Well, the area outside of Cameron Indoor Stadium known as Shashevskyville for seniors in the Duke basketball team. It's been home for the past four seasons. Last night, seniors playing their final home game on campus. Duke coasting Florida State, trying to end a two-game slide as well. First half, picking up Duke in transition. Jason Tatum, a little hesitation, then a nice drive. Triple drive, kick underneath. A underneath the reverse layer for Emil Jefferson. Duke led by 11 at the half, second half. Starts to pull away a little bit, thanks in part to one man, Frank the Tank. Frank Jackson, slicing, Dyson. And go ahead and call him Mr. Jackson because Frank Jackson flat out nasty last night. A little high step. Knocks down the three. Jackson going for a game high 22. He got the start because Grayson Allen sidelined a little bit with a bad ankle. Duke held off a late run by the Seminoles. They get the win last night 75-70. So they keep their chances alive for a top four finish in the ACC tournament. They do have North Carolina on the road on Saturday nights. And now that the calendar officially turns over to March, if you're a sports fan, you throw the word madness into the mix. And what is truly maddening now is we have basketball, baseball, and football going on at the same time. I know there's other than the big threes. Don't email me. I know there's other sports going on. Spring football practice underway at NC State. Dave Doran's Wolf Pack have plenty of experience. 22 seniors on the roster for the pack. 11 of those starters just a season ago. And the team started to really come into its own late. Won three of four to close out the season last year. Coach Doran's fifth team now has the promise to be maybe his best, especially if they can pick up where they left off. NC State opens the regular season. They'll take on South Carolina. Similar situation in Chapel Hill. The Tar Heels also opening spring practice. Well, they bettered the pack in the win column a year ago. Larry Fedora's team limped late, dropping three of four to close out the season. And that included losses to their rivals, Duke and NC State. Now, the season, the team will go through a pretty late overhaul offensively. Lost a lot of key players, or they will, to the draft of the NFL, including quarterback Mitch Trubisky. Defensively, the spring will also be different because coordinator Gene Chizik has gone after two seasons. He left the program last month. Derek Willis didn't need an assist for the biggest score of the night. This is a Kentucky game last night. Take a listen. Hawkins, Mulder, Willis all playing over 11 minutes per game. And a surprise moment. Keely Pot said yes. Derek Willis proposed marriage to his Yeah, dropping to a knee on senior night, proposing to his girlfriend during the festivities. Didn't tell any of his teammates until just before he was going to do it. Sparked a nice run in the game, too, at a block on defense. That led to an alley-oop, a five-point swing. Duke won the game, or Kentucky won the game. Willis, though, won the night. His girlfriend, with an assist from Marv Albert, said yes. And then Willis did a little scoring after the game. You know what I'm talking about there. All right, if you have nothing to do with yourself today, some basketball, maybe some football, how about some baseball? Head out to UNCW today. You get a chance to see the national champs. The Seahawks hosting Coastal Carolina, 4 o'clock this afternoon. The Shants run to the title last year, gave all mid-majors like the Seahawks hopes of winning it all. And if you missed this afternoon's game, you have plenty of chances to see the boys at home all month long. All but two of their games during the month of March will be played at the friendly confines of Brooks Field. And Gannon, if we've been uh, treated with the weather we've had recently, aside from a little bit of rain, I, I, you talk about a good day to see a baseball game. You need a little bit of rain every now and then. But and yeah, it's, the grass there perfectly like, green. It looks wonderful. Yeah, it's like mid-season form. Our temperatures have been remarkable.